Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Thursday the 14th of March 2024. I hope you are keeping well. Oh, my voice sounds rather tired and groggy. Maybe it reflects how I feel. Tired and groggy. Uh, yesterday uh, I took my cat to the animal hospital for his second injection. He has a, He's having a series of three uh, injections that are very powerful and painful too so it means that he has to have anesthetic before he can have the actual injection and uh, last week when he had it he came around very well very quickly came around from the anesthetic and he recovered very quickly yesterday not so uh, quickly uh, he is okay now but um, yesterday when I went to get him the vet said Oh, he still hasn't come around properly. He's he's awake, but he he hasn't fully recovered from. You know, he's like a, a bit um, disoriented and stuff. So why don't you take him home and let him recover at home? That was a against my better judgment, really, because I suspected what would happen. And actually, what happened was what I suspected would happen. That is, as soon as he got home, he's going to want to walk around and and when he jumps to get out of his carrier. Um, he, I, I, I take him in a carrier and um, as soon as we get home he always jumps around inside the carrier just to get out and then to walk around every part of the house this is a kind of routine he has when he gets home every time he goes to the hospital and um, I thought that that would be the case and it turned out it was the case and <laughs> he couldn't walk because if you've ever seen anybody really drunk trying to walk on two legs well imagine that times two for a cat on four legs he looked just like a drunk cat he couldn't you know i, I was one w walking with him <laughs> trying to let him walk but he couldn't do it just kept falling over and uh, so i had to kind of hold him and just i ch you know when i put him in the box he would just jump around like to try to get out of the box so i figured okay i've just got to hold him so and when I was holding him, he wanted to jump down and do his walk around thing, but he obviously couldn't manage it. So I had to keep picking him up, putting him down, picking him up, and then picking up and holding him. <laughs> and that went on and on and on, which is why I didn't manage to play any games of Sudoku yesterday. I had to cancel yesterday evening's work session, and it was around about half past three this morning he could finally walk properly and uh, get to his cat litter box. And uh, so that's, uh, <laughs> he seems to be recovered now, I guess. Um, but uh, I think uh, the next time we do this, I want to make sure that he's fully recovered before I take him home from the hospital. I think that's the best course of action for my cat. What's going on in the rest of the world? There's something called gorilla hail. I love the term, love the nom nomenclature. Uh, in Kansas and Missouri, apparently the <laughs> size of the hailstones is so large that they're calling it gor gorilla hail. Mm. Or maybe it should be all hail gorillas. Uh, all right, shall we get on with the game of Sudoku? This is the hard level game as supplied by the Guardian. Uh, oh, I can just now see the first move to make. Uh, so we'll start with eights blocking across here like this and I do apologize if I don't sound very enthusiastic I am feeling quite enthusiastic just tired I think from a, a night of cat in cat what's the word cat hugging <laughs> and and uh, in incarceration I don't really know what to call it but anyway um, all right six blocking across here and across there we'll get six in that square six down here down here and across there actually I've just realized I'm hungry too I should have had food before starting this game but never mind oh I can hear my stomach making noises now so I apologize if the microphone picks that sound up we've got six going across here and across here there is a strange noise in the background which is not my stomach it's a tannoy system Oh, they are selling rice in big packs, or, or rather, in, in a, that you can get weighed into a basket. Uh, OK, 
Okay, we have twos going up here and up here and across there. They'll give me a two there, two this way, two that way. Here's a two. Two down to the bottom, two across here. There we go, there's a two. By the way, if you're new to the channel and wondering why this game's fairly easy so far, well, usually the Guardian hard level games are not that difficult compared to other kind of internet games that I, that you might find out there. Now, two blocks across here, so that means two is in one of these squares. In fact, two is in this square, isn't it? Like I've just realized we've got two up there, two down there. Let's put the two there. Two across there, two down here, two up there. And we can finish off the twos. I hadn't seen that one there. I was just about to put this one in first, and I realized, oh, guess what? There's another one. Uh, yeah, I was saying the Guardian... Uh, hard level games are usually easier than a lot of the uh, other even the other newspaper games to be honest with you but especially any games you find on the internet we have eight blocking this square and this square so we'll get an eight there and we'll be left here with five and something four and five any have one four or five not sure so this would be three, eight, and nine. So we've got the eight blocking up there. There's our eight, and this would be three and nine. Uh, does that do anything? Does that float anybody's boat? Not mine. Uh, okay. Shall we wander through bit by bit and see what we can find? down here, here and across there and eight up here and across there and up there nine here and down there nine blocks across here so nine is in one of these two squares here blocking down there nine across and across here that must be nine. I see four and seven blocking this square here. It's going to put four and seven into those squares and leave enough room here for a five. And the three blocking this square here means that that is going to be our three. And this would be our nine, as mentioned previously. Nine must be there also. Nine down here. Didn't need that, actually. Nine across there and nine up there is good enough by itself. And nine across here and there and down and up. Two, six, eight, nine are finished if you are keeping score. Missing numbers up here, one, three, five. We've got three and five in the same column. That must be a one.
to now. I, think I might look through the digits again actually. So I have spotted that threes are in one of those two squares, so that puts three down here. Might mean something. Uh, three, four, five missing here. Fives are there. Fours. No, fours can still go anywhere. Okay. Okay, the five blocks down here, so five is in one of those squares going back up to the top. That will put five there and means that this must be a three. Missing numbers from here and here are what, one and three are they? I think they are one and three, so this has to be four and seven. Okay, so seven blocks across here, seven blocks down here. So seven is in one of those two squares blocking back that way. Seven up there, and there's our seven. So seven blocking up here, here's our seven. And the missing number here is a four. Four down here will give us four in this square. Three, as I said before, what did I say? Three blocks down here and across there. So three is in one of those squares. This can't be three. That must be three, and this must be five. one more digit to find here I think it's a four and this will be one and three now that's one and three isn't it we have one three in this column so if this is one and three that's one and three this cannot be one or three it's got to be the other number which will be one and three four four blocking four blocking up here we'll put four into that square and mean that this is whatever it is. I've now forgotten five. So five down here and across there. Oh no, sorry, five across here and five down there. That'll give us a five there. Five down here and across there will give us five in that square. Five across here and there means that that is five. The last number to place here is four and one blocks down here so there's our one one blocks up here and down there there's a one one across here will give us one in that square one blocking here we had one and three in these squares so there's our one uh let's fill in the last digit one before we go ahead for the three there's the last digit one this would be three still need a three there three blocks across here giving us three in that square and still need a three there Right, the only digits to left to find are four and seven, so that's going to be a four, that's going to be a seven, that's going to be a four, that's going to be a seven, and that's going to be a seven. And that's our hard level game from The Guardian over for Thursday. Luckily for me, I don't have any... Oh, I do have some work in the evening, but until in the daytime, not much to do, so I can relax a bit today, recover from my sleepless uh, night. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.